Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hokey Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Well, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Friday afternoon, the 8th of September, 2023. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show. Hoity J. Minogio and Keezy, you mad bastard. And Mogi, as always, you absolute stallion, you Greek statue Adonis of a man house life. Yeah, you're going pretty gross there, you backbone, you sick son of a bee. Hey, yeah. how good it's Friday. Yeah, so yeah, good, I'm pretty man. pumped about it, man. Very pumped. Keezy, how are you going, mate? How's the cling on? Jace. I don't have a cling on, all right? I'm, I'm fine. Tummy's still a bit weird, but that's okay. Uh, and also, if you're wondering why Mike Minogue is so fired up, it's because directly after the show, he flies to Sydney yeah. to watch the Warriors and the UFC. Yes, and you, for my brother's 50th. Yeah, so good, mate. So good. And just on that, we'll have uh, something involving that in our big poll today. Listen, massive, massive show ahead. Of course, don't forget Friday Throbber. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I... I Tr- uh, tried a new elixir last night uh, from your advice actually oh, yes. Mogi and also of course your chance to get into the NRL grand final so let's kick into the show shall we Red Hot Chili Peppers The Hodaki Big Show Podcast Red Hot Chili Peppers there on your uh, Friday afternoon great to have your company if you're just joining us don't forget also of course being a Friday shout out Friday on 3483 so you got any shout outs out there let us know and you go on the draw to win a uh, Backbone t-shirt might do an extra five or six of those today yeah totally mate totally but right now it's time for The Big Pole Well, as previously mentioned, Mogi off to uh, Aussie tonight to uh, see his brother and have his 50th party. What else is going on there? You going to just the to be, league? Just to be clear, it's my 50th, uh, my brother's 50th, 50th not, not your mine. 50th. Uh, um, then tomorrow, so I'm catching up with him as soon as I land. Yes. Uh, then going to see some mates that I used to live with over there, going to have a uh, bit of a uh, birthday dinner. Oh. Um, and then tomorrow, the Warriors versus Penrith. Uh-oh. At about... Four, I think. And then the gates open at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday for the UFC. New UFC. 7.30 a.m. Imagine getting up and having your eggs and then having to kick someone's face in. Yeah. So anyway, it's a huge weekend. I haven't seen my brother for five years. Wow, that's amazing. Uh-oh. Um, we have done some drinking in the past. Uh-oh. Um, so I've got a certain amount of trepidation around it, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, and you were saying your brother can more than uh, hold his own against you. In fact, he sets the level. He he does. Um, he's sort of a, uh, let's just get into it and get it over and done with so we can get into the hangover and then get over it. Sort yeah. Of stuff. <laughs> okay, I So get there's it, every opportunity it. he's going to be passed out within sort of 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Yeah, nice. Responsibly nice. passed out. Responsibly well, passed out. Yeah, yeah. With that in mind, the big poll today is will Mogi make it back from Aussie in one piece, yes yeah. or no? So, just confirming, is that in a one piece or in one piece? In one piece. Right, okay. Look, I've got to give you my instincts. Uh, you'll certainly make it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, in one piece? Yeah. Hoity J is sceptical of that. Yeah. Um, but... I also know that you're a bit of a backbone. Uh, yeah. You've been there before. You've done it before. You know what you're doing. You know the process. So I'm confident that you will come back slightly shattered, but you'll hold it together. I always go away on these weekends, though, uh, you know, with mates and stuff. You haven't seen them for ages, so on and so forth. And you always have a plan, don't you? Yes. Generally, the plan is, look, it's Friday night. We'll just take it easy, okay? <laughs> and we'll save it for the Saturday. And then... Before you know it, it's 4 a.m. You're a shambles. That first night. That next day, you've ruined it. The first night's the best night. Everyone's excited. Everyone's all pumped. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. But I've got the wires on day two. Yeah. So I can't bugger that up. I simply cannot. That is a, a hell trip out to Penrith as well. Oh, God. Yeah. So I, 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 I will, I'm going with the best of intentions, but at the same time, I anticipate that I'll bugger it up somehow. I'll come back with a story for sure. Bloody yeah, Ripper. Yeah. Hey, Jace, just quickly, mate, do you want to guess right now what the percentage of voting is going to be or when we do a recap of this just after six? Sure. Uh, my guess is that whether he comes back in one piece, 80% of our audience will say no. 80-20. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's about right, and I'll just go to, to be different. 90-10. 90, 90 yeah, same yeah. thing. All right. Yeah. And just, just for those listening, listen out uh, on Tuesday, I believe you're back for a very husky yes. voice. Yeah, 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 I'll be husky. G'day, fellas. Yeah. How's oh, it going? God. Beautiful. Yeah, hey, so let's good. get into another tune, shall we? Oh. Get your Friday afternoon going. Here's Empire of the Sun.
The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Empire of the Sun there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. A few shout outs too coming through on 3483 Keezy. Heaps of the best. Yeah, keep them coming as well. Everyone in the draw for a backbone t shirt or a onesie or a toddler top. Mm. Have those toddler t- Tops come through, have they? What toddler tops? We had toddler tops. They're on sale. Oh, they're on sale. Yeah, okay. Must have I, I haven't seen one of those no, I yet. I haven't seen one in here, but they're on sale. Beautiful. Are, yeah. Just Google it, you'll find it. Um, shout out to Big Don and Travis who are on the Bearsies after a big Friday. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, after a big Friday. Uh, that would be working. Well, they've obviously oh, stopped working. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. not yeah. drinking. Yeah, yeah. G'day, guys. Can I please give a quick shout out to my husband, Muck Raker? He's a real backbone. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. cool. So what, keep oh, coming on 3483. One more. Oh, well, we're going to get into this big oh, poll I know, chat. I know, no, one more. You one one more, please. Uh, if people make the effort to do shout-outs, we've got to at least shout-out. Yeah, right, fair enough. G'day, guys. Please give a massive shout-out to Williams Diggers. If you're ever in need of a digger, hit up Williams Diggers. Big Willie Diggers. Yeah, yeah, Willie Diggers, good stuff. Um, so our big poll today, if you missed it, will Mogi make it back from Aussie in one piece this weekend? That we was from William, by the way. Uh, we didn't get your view on on that, uh, Keezy, because if anyone knows about just not landing the plane, it's you. Well, I think there is this perception that I don't land the plane. However, I feel like I'm flying along in like a Cessna, whereas when Mogi's driving a plane that's not landing, it's a Concorde or a fighter jet or something. So yeah. I I think you will go massive tonight as soon as you get there. Yeah. I think you will back it up, though, and go massive at the Warriors. Yeah. And then I'm backing you to go massive again on the Sunday and but, just come back an absolute wreck. You see the trouble? Yeah, I, I think what my plan is, yeah, which will go out the window, um, will be to have a pretty big one tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then tomorrow, then go to the Warriors. That finishes at six, so I can sort of be in bed by eight. Yeah, yeah not happening. Um, That's definitely not happening. And then be up at the. And then I'll be sweet. Would have had you know ten hours sleep. Well, job wouldn't have. I would have had about five hours sleep. Uh, and then go to the UFC after that. I just love the massive delusion going on I there. Have to, uh, I, if I don't start there, man. Yeah, I know what you're saying. If I start at the other end and go, oh, I'm going to get hammered and hammered and hammered yes. responsibly. Uh, then that doesn't give me any leeway. Yeah, because we, let, let's be very serious here. We advocate responsible drinking on yep. this show for sure. Because it's always precarious, I find, too, when you get together with a group of mates and you're away from your sort of home environment. She's a recipe for disaster because you've you've had some tall stories, haven't you, Keezy? Uh, of meeting up with your mates and stuff and oh, ending up yeah. nude in spa pools. And, oh, yeah, 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 that was yeah, good. Yeah, that was and, funny, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the floater. Um, yeah. I, one of my mates is a chronic smoke bomber start of the trip just disappears oh yeah and then comes back at the end of the trip right Do you have you guys ever had mates like that oh, I have got a mate that does that just yeah. goes missing yeah and then comes I mean, back I know goes, where he's gone oh right yeah but, yeah yeah I mean to be fair I think I know where my mates have gone as well <laughs> but they just show up at the end and go oh good trip eh fellas you're like yeah, yeah. yeah. to hang out with yeah. you yeah so good yeah, yeah. hey yeah. make sure you get on our Instagram account and have a vote on that I'll be very very curious to see what the people say but let's plunge into the darkness, shall we? The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Welcome back here, Massive Backbones. I tell you what, uh, Mogi, um, I'm glad it's fr- I had a very weird, weird night last night. Right. Very weird night. Um, had a mate that uh, gave me a call the night before and said, Hey, Chase, would you like... He'd been out Silverdale way. Oh, and yeah. And he said, Oh, I've got... Some- would you like some mushies? And I was like, Oh... That's so funny that you should say that because Mogi's been banging on about mm. this, th- these mushies that he's taking yep. in terms of, so, you know, and they can, you know, put you to sleep or give you energy and like, stuff. Yeah. And I said to him, I said, are these the ones that, you know, help you with your sleep or are they more? And he said, oh, nah, probably not so much your sleep, more your, your give you energy, high energy levels. Yeah. Right. Because yours... It's quite amazing, man. Yeah. yeah. Yours is like to help you sleep, right? It works. I take the ones to help me sleep. We've also got the ones that sit there that you can take in the morning and they're meant to energise you for the day. Yeah, I've taken yeah, yeah. those and I didn't find those as effective, but certainly the ones that I take for my sleep, man, it, once and I get to sleep fine, it's never been... Well, it has been a problem for me, but I get to sleep and I stay asleep now pretty much. Or if yes. I wake up, I'm able to get back to sleep really quickly. So yeah, it's made nice. a, they've made a huge difference. Well, well, you know, with that in mind, I said, yeah, absolutely, mate. Fill your boots, drop them off. That'd be great. And yeah. apparently you just... I don't know if you do the same thing in terms of preparation, just make a tea out of them. Well, I just, you just soak... Because they're kind of 
string. They're quite weird looking mushrooms. The ones. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. these the ours comes powdered. Oh right, yes, so we just been get, powdered we up. get a teaspoon of it and stir it into a glass of water and then scull it. Well, what was yours? Well, mine was, you know, I was going to say a shiitake like mushroom, but not even shiitake. Very long, sort of stem, oh. kind of blue, blue, blue and, hue. Oh, yeah, blue, bluish hue, yeah, sort of jellyfishy, ones. dried yeah, mushroom. Yeah, you yeah. know, if you're imagining, yeah, while well, I was, oh, they dry. were pretty fresh, right? So I thought, you know, this is going to give me heaps of energy. This will be, you know, bonds of beauty grouse. Yeah. Uh, so I made a cup of tea and stuff. Got a bit weird after that, bit trippy. Do you, you f- do you get that when you have yours? Nah, well, I'm asleep, so I don't know what's going on. Right, Re- okay. I mean, I, yeah, not yeah, really. Yeah. But I've had mushrooms before that have made me feel like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was weird because I found myself making a nest in the middle of the lounge, you know, just out, out of, of you know, like cushions and blankets and hay. Where'd you get the hay from? Oh, I've got, hay, I've got like a couple of bales of hay. Pea. Right. Oh, I'm on so standby. When, when I say um, hay, it's like pea hay that you pea put straw. on. Pea straw. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's, I have a couple of bales of, for if guests come around for so, something to sit on. Yeah, so nice, mate. And just cozy my eyes. Like, what the f are you doing? You know? and so you made like, a nest like a chicken? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it felt real good. And yeah. you stayed and in it? For some reason, I got into, uh, uh, I started lighting my own farts because I had really bad wind. Yeah. Remember when you used to do that as a kid? Well, this is the thing. As a kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, I mean, I did it as an adult too, but I hadn't done it for ages. Well, the thing is, I found when I was taking those mushrooms you're talking about, I found that I'd have sharp, horrendous sharp pains in my gut. Yes, exactly. Like you thought you had strychnine poisoning or something like that. But yeah, I remember the, the gas. Yeah, very yeah, gassy. mate. It was like... Yeah. Flame And then you're just crying with laughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a bit yeah. of a singe nos, but, you know, other than fine. But here's the weird thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Took me ages to get to sleep, and eventually fell asleep. Woke up in the morning. There were like two or three eggs. There were three eggs in the nest that I was lying in. Really, three eggs. And I thought, oh well, needs must. You know, I was a bit hungry. Yeah. Crack those bastards. Make myself all three eggs. Get this double yokers. Wait, so you, so you laid eggs? I don't know how they got their keys. And then you ate them? Of course I ate them. I love scrambled eggs, Far and they were all double yokers. Far, that is weird. You know, that's really lucky. Double yokers. Yeah, exactly. Did mate. you have three? Yeah. Oh, no, it's still lucky. Yeah, yeah, I thought Lucky, so. unlucky, lucky again. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah. Um, are you going to take them again tonight? Or oh, are you gonna- absolutely, mate. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Radio Hodaki presents you and a mate to the NRL Grand Final. Oh, yes, indeed. Bloody oats, bloody oats. Let's go to the phone lines. Gabriel, you mad bastard. How's life? Good, thanks. How are you guys? Yeah, very good, thank you. Oh, sorry, is it Gabrielle? Oh, either or either. It doesn't really matter. Good on you, mate. That's the spirit. Yeah, good on you. Just shut up and get on with it, don't you, Gabe? Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, what's going on in Greymouth at the moment? Oh, the sun's out, as usual. Oh, yeah, yeah, beautiful. And Uh. and what do you do for, for a crust? Um, I work in a plumbing gas fitting. Oh, oh backbone! Backbone, good stuff. And you're obviously a bit of a rugby league fan. Yeah, uh, mainly my partner and son is. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's so yeah. bloody nice, that's man. Lovely. We had a similar thing happen yesterday where a uh, a woman there she rang up for her partner and she son did as well, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good on, on you. Good on you. Get them out of the house, Gabe. Well, I will yeah, tell you what, <laughs> you stay on the line, and our good mate uh, Pugs will look after you. All right. That's great. Thanks, guys. You no have worries, a nice mate. day. Good luck, mate. Brian, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, yeah bloody good, boys. Good on you, yeah, Jace, mate. Jace, just quickly, can you make sure you ask him uh, what he does for a crust? Hey, Brian, what do you do for a crust? I work in health and safety. Oh, oh backbone. backbone. Hey, Brian, what, what, what league team do you support? Ah, oh, it's got to be the way. Yeah, the way. Way. Ah, let's Good go on you, mate. Warriors. And Brian, who would you take with you if you won this prize? Oh, I don't know. It would have to be one of my mates, but uh, the old mumsy might have a word to say about that. Yeah, yeah, true. <sighs> yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, Brian, uh, you stay on the line too, mate, and Pucks will sort you out, all right? Awesome, thanks, fellas. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. What a backbone, eh? Huge oh, backbone, everybody that rings up about it is a massive backbone. Have you noticed that everyone calls in as a backbone? Yeah. Back to backbones. Uh, don't forget this prize is massive. Uh, flights for you and a mate to Sydney, three nights accommodation, hospitality tickets to the races on the Saturday, a Sydney Harbour cruise to the stadium on the Sunday, and silver match tickets. Another chance to uh, win...
after five o'clock, fellas. What do we reckon? Yeah, so good, mate. So good. <laughs> what, what do we reckon about a bit of Ziggy Stardust? Oh. Ziggy plays guitar. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Bit of David Bowie for you there on the radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Friday afternoon. He actually preferred to be called Davo. Yeah. Dave o Bowie. Bowie. Yeah, Dave o Bowie. Oh, really? I never heard that. Yeah, he just wanted you to call him Dave o, not Dave o Bowie. Just um, Dave o. Yeah, Dave o's a mate. As a, you know, as a mate, as you're talking to him. Right. right. I just called him DB. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, DB. But, yeah, but, DB. Yeah. When he was Debbie. going through his androgynous Yeah, years. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. G'day, Debbie. Yeah. Right, and then you'd be like, g'day, Dave G'day, Dave-o. Debbie, you mad bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Your oh, backbone. wow. Yeah. Hey, um, I was writing an email um, last night. Hoity J. Yes. Um, or it might have been during the day. I can't really remember. But I've sort of realised that I've reached an age uh, which I was hoping I'd never reach, and that is I've had to change the size of the font. Oh, oh increase right. Okay. Increase yeah, the size yeah. of the font. Yeah, yeah. sure. So sure. I was having a bit of a squint there, and you just sort of think, I don't know why you keep on doing it, but you sort of keep it there because that's what it is. And then I thought, I'll oh, just see what it looks like if I just up it a bit. Oh, man. It's much easier, isn't it? You're not straining yeah, yeah. anymore. Not straining yeah. because yeah. it's like my I'm sort of like pulled my my chairs right up to the desk, you know, and I'm sort of leaning and I, and forward. And I notice you're got a, getting a bit of a hunchback too Thank because you. you're having to lean Thank over you. so yeah, much. Yeah, I am. You know what I, I mean? I am. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. I, I, I was going to say I hear what you're saying. I mean, I'm still 2020 in the old vision. Yeah. Um. So I, I haven't sort of reached that point yet. But, but I mean, you have got milky eyes. Yeah, oh, I've got milky eyes, but strangely, 2020 vision. What does really? 2020 yeah, yeah. vision just mean? Your peripherals? Well, no. In this case, yes. It, it's uh, it's like. I, I can read text from, you know. What does that say? Some good quality stuff. Yeah. He just held up the program there <laughs> yeah. of our show. Um, but, yeah, but, no, I can sympathise, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, man. Because I imagine I'm not, I'm not too far away myself. Well, from... because, yeah, I just it's weird that you've got 2020 vision given the amount of glasses that you lose. Yeah, but that's more a fashion thing. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. But you buy them from yeah. the chemist for yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, they're hideous. That's right. It's, well, as, it's a anti, like, as an anti-fashion. Um, it's, you know, it's like you work for a joke. It's more of a statement than oh, it a, is a statement. A it's reality. like you don't care about your appearance. Right, okay. Um, my dad, he's, well, he's in his mid-60s now, Don. Yeah. Um, and then whenever I go to use his phone, he'll go, oh, hey, Keezy, can you have... Well, he calls me Chris. Um, hey, Chris, can you look at my phone? Something's weird with it, and I'll grab it, and then I'll be like, whoa, because the font is yeah. so large, you know? Yeah, well, that's the thing. When you're at, uh, say, an airport or public transport, and someone's old and they've got the massive font, you can read it from the sort of the opposite end yeah. of the room. Yeah. It's funny you should say that, actually. I uh, adjusted uh, Mon's font the other day. My mum on, on her phone. Why yeah, were you? Mum. Why did you have my mum's phone? Well, because we were just chatting. She it was a very, <laughs> it was a very similar scenario where she said, "Hey, Hoity J, what's something weird Wait, going so on my with mum?" My... Calls you Hoity J. Yeah, really, <laughs> obviously. Or Big J. Yeah, or yeah, Big J sometimes. Or Jaso. Or no, it's never Jaso. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chode boy. <laughs> <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go. That's the end of the four to five hour. Massive hour coming up, Mogi. Uh, because, of course, Friday, Friday Throbber, immediately after five o'clock. Also, your opportunity, too, uh, to get in the draw for that NRL Grand Final. We're really aware of the fact that people are desperate to get in the jaw. So we're opening it up a little bit for all the uh, listeners out there. So make sure you stay tuned after five. Plenty happening. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yeah, welcome back, your massive backbones. Hope your Friday afternoon's going very nicely indeed as we head into the weekend, eh, Mogi? Oh, shit, you. Eh, Mogi. Now, the Friday Throbber, if you're just joining us for the first time, each of us, i.e. Keezy, myself and Mogi, pick a song to kick your Friday party mode off to send you into the weekend. You then vote on the song, and the first to two votes on 0800 Hodaki wins the day. That's right. We're keeping score as well. I'm currently winning with 11 victories. Mike's second on eight. Jace has got six. Yeah. And at the end of the year, whoever wins gets free dinner from the other two. Yep. Yeah, that's the deal, eh? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I like that. Really? Yeah, I'm, okay. still yeah, waiting yeah, for, yeah. I'm still waiting for my dinner from last year and the year before I, when I won. Had, but Had we decided that in previous years? I no. can't remember it so long ago. Yeah, we yeah. had it, and I'm just putting it forward now. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't mind that. 
I like how Keezy puts it forward now when that he's, he's in the lead. He's in the lead, you know. Yeah. No big ideas when he's losing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, no, 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 no. Jace, what song did you choose today, mate? Well, you know, when I thought oh. about this band, what do you think I chose? I don't know what band it is. No, but what do you? What's your vibe for me today? Oh, rock, hardcore rock. Okay, what's your vibe there, Keezy? Yeah, something. Probably from an artist from the Hodaki playlist to try and get back on the good side of everyone. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, today I describe this band as sexy. Shit. Oh, sexy. As sexy. Right, here and we go. here's the tune. Pluto. I love the fat bass on that bastard. Bit Arc- of Arctic, Arctic monkeys. monkeys. Bit of Arctic monkeys for you there, team. Yeah, Beautiful. good stuff. Mike, what did you go for? Bit of Lincoln Park, man. Lincoln Park. Wow, throwback. I haven't done this in ages. Here it comes, Jace. Thanks by Lincoln Park. There you go. It's it's a throwback. Um, mine's it's a throbber, isn't it, Mogi? There's a throbber. Throb, that, throb, 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 throb. Speaking PC, of throbbers, uh, Thompson twins. No, mine's paying homage to a uh, great man who passed away oh, this Smash week. Smash Mouth. Yeah, Smash yeah. Mouth lead singer passed yeah, away. Good call, mate. Good call. Ah, oh, so good. Listen to that. Listen to that stank. I guess you're oh, stank, all right. Oh. Oh. Okay, the the morning morning steam are written all over it. So massive, uh, massive. There's two contenders there for the Friday <laughs> trouble. You decide, New Zealand. Give us a call right now on 0800 Hodak. In the meantime, here's Space Hog. Jace, the song's called In the Meantime as well. Oh! oh! Hodak Big Show Podcast. It's the Hodak Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, indeed, your Friday throbber, the highlight of the uh, big show every week. We've chosen our throbbers, two contenders there for sure, no yeah. question about it. And uh, not sure about gonna, yours. As always, as always, and I let the uh, listeners decide. I went for a bit of sexiness with the Arctic Monkeys. Old Mogi for it went for a little bit of Lincoln Park. Oh, it's a classic. It's a throbber. What was the name of your song, by the way, Jace? Five oh five. I hit tune. Ran it, 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 a throwback from the late 90s. <laughs> paying homage to a uh, fantastic musician who sadly passed away this year. Smash Mouth, when the morning comes. Oh, oh yeah. Can I just say... Shh, shh, shh. Oh, so good. Wow. Listen wow. to that, man. Can I just say... Take the time for the, the greatest time. of respect. What's that? I hate that song. You don't. You were I, humming it just before. I gen- Yeah, it's like, a, you know, when you get a really annoying advertisement in your head? Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, That's right. why I was humming it. Right, Hey, okay. well, let's go to the phone lines. I think we've got Isaac on the line. Isaac, you mad bastard. How's life? Hey, not too bad. Yeah, uh, good on you, mate. Going? Yeah, good. Yeah, thanks, thanks, mate. mate. What do you do for a crust, Isaac? I'm sorry, I'm actually a traffic controller. Ah, oh, oh, backbone! Backbone! Good on you, mate. All right, Isaac. What are you running for there, my friend? Yes, I'm, I've got to go with the 505 Arctic oh, Monkey. Oh, what? what? Yeah, good on you, mate. Tune, tune. Good on you. All right, then, let's go to caller number two. We've got uh, Millie on the line. Millie, your backbone. How's life? Hi, it's all good at the moment. How are you boys doing? Yeah, good, good thanks. Bloody great, mate. Good thanks. Millie, what do you do for a crust? Oh, I'm a security guard at the hospital. Oh, oh backbone. backbone! Huge backbone. Keezy. All right, so Millie. Keezy said, oh, what? what, do you, what why would that not be? No, as in like, what? Oh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know me. Yeah, great right. stuff, <laughs> Millie. Hey, what are you running with, Millie? Uh, I quite like a bit of Arctic Monkey. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> yeah, good choice. Hey, and Millie, great name, by the way. Great name. 
Oh, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, mate. Should we do it, fellas? Yeah, uh, should do we it. Yeah, man. Let's get into a bit of sexiness, shall we, for your Friday? Sure. Get the get the kid off. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh yes, indeed. Five oh five there by the Arctic Monkeys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Stink tune. Nah, it's actually a good song, Jace. Uh, that brings you up to seven wins mm-hmm. on the Throbber. One behind That's Mike. That's three in a row, Chase. That's three on the three bounce rock. Yeah, yeah. I still see you guys sailing away in the distance here, but as I put it before, I'm holding on to a rope in the ocean, and I'm just gradually pulling myself back towards the boat. Well, I've got some news for you, Jason. I don't think you've considered this, and, and I'm not sure that Keezy's considered it. Either right, um, Keezy's going to be going away later in the year. Yes, I have considered that for his honeymoon. Yes, so there's going to be quite a few weeks where he's not available. Yes, for the throbber. Aye. So his ability to hold on to any kind of a lead during that period is going to be thin. Now, I'd love it if he could continue to compete, but if you're not here, you can't compete. That's just how it is. Pugs will True. likely step into that, but Pugs has his own score. Yeah, yeah. So it's a real shame. Um, you Pug, know, if you yeah. cho- if you choose your honeymoon over the show. That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and I just feel like with old Keezy that he's just lost a bit of form in the last month. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? And the it, last I'm, couple of months, it's, yeah. It's actually, he, you know, he's hissing a roar. It's like he's on a Friday bender, but now Monday's hit. Yeah, I think he's him. had about six losses in a row. Yes. It's not Wait, like no, it's not, not six like him. losses yeah, in yeah, a row. It's yeah. You guys have had a few wins in a row, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. first of all. But, okay, I will be here next Friday with a hell of a throbber. Oh, good. <laughs> And it is going to surprise you guys. Um, and I actually completely forgot I was going away on my honeymoon. Yeah. Later in the year. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> no, no, looking, yeah. But I am looking forward to that winner's dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, um, Mogi, if it is you and Pugs, I'll, I'll splash out, mate. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> I'll splash out. Uh. Hey, now listen, um, don't forget your chance to get in the draw for the NRL Grand Final. People keep texting in about that all the time. They do. And it's not just tickets to the Grand Final. It's, you know... Uh, Three nights accommodation, you and a mate, free flights as well. You get uh, amazing tickets to the races on the Saturday before in Randwick there, and then you get to do a two-hour harbour cruise to the game on the Sunday. It is a massive prize, and we're going to be doing another cue to call for that in the next 15 or so, so listen out. Yeah, so good. Let's get back to some tunes, shall we? Tunes. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Radio Hodaki presents... You and a mate to the NRL Grand Final. Oh, yeah, bloody oats. Uh, Jude, you mad bastard. How's life? Hi. Jude. How's, go- how's it going, Jude? Oh, good, good. Yeah, are yeah, you good. sure, mate? We're not interrupting anything, are we? Pardon? No, we're not, no. uh, not interrupting anything, are we? It's just put on hold. I was just waiting. Oh, oh it's a bit yeah, of a wait, you, isn't Jude. it? You hey. sound like you've been up to no good, Jude. Um, I've been getting my bloody car fixed. Oh, oh, what's wrong with it, Jude? Bloody battery. Oh, oh, battery. Battery. Bloody batteries. Bloody yeah. batteries. They're having a similar what's issue, actually. Get it, get it changed, and then they tell you also what's wrong with your car, and I'm like, just shut up. Stop telling me what's wrong with yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. could alternator, yeah, yeah, totally. Got a similar issue with our car at the moment, Jude. I won't bore you with the details, but l- l- just say it's a lemon. But actually, it's for sale, Jude, if you want it. <laughs> Well, I've spent more on this car than than what it's worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, that. just a word of advice. Five grand to buy another car. Yeah, yeah. neither, Jude. Just uh, if you're having more trouble with it, just take it to old Hoity J uh, Mechanics. They'll sort you. No worries. Okay, have you got one of them in Wellington? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now, They're all over uh, the country. Jude, what do you do for a crust, very quickly? I'm a hotel housekeeper. Oh, oh backbone. backbone. Well, jeez, uh, you would have seen some things in your day, Jude. I bet so. Pardon? You would have seen some things in your day. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, There's good on you. Be where I am at the airport hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a yeah. good spot. Yeah. We'll stay on the line, Jude, and our good mate Pugs will sort you out. Good luck with that. Thank you. Can no worries. Can you enter? Can you enter more than once? No. Nah, right. That's just your once, Jude. You made it. Hey, Chris. Hey, bro. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How are you, Chris? Oh, fantastic. Good, thanks, Jace. You going to tell us all your problems that, like Jude did, man? Say what? You going to tell us all your problems like Jude did? Like Jude did? Yeah, no, we I just had a lady named Jude on. She told us her problems. Have you got any problems? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. But you don't want to hear those. <laughs> good on you, yeah, mate. Yeah, good on you, What do you Chris. do for a crust, your backbone? Oh, uh, engineering, mate. Oh, oh backbone! backbone! Backbone. Yeah, boys. Yeah, good on you, That's mate. That's the one, mate. And who do you support uh, in the old Buckma League there, Chris? Oh, uh, well, 
I've got to say, go the wires, boys. Good yeah, on you, man. go the wires. Good, good yeah, on man. you, Mitch. Good on you. You so stay good. on the line also, Chris, and our mate Pugs will sort you out, all right? Gee whiz. Good, on you. good, good luck, on Chris. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Oh, I, feel, I feel for Jude though because it is annoying when your car breaks down. Oh. Bloody expensive bastards. Yes, are. And, and 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 what's more annoying is when your car breaks down for something and you're going to get that fixed, and then they go, "Oh, oh but by, the, by way, the way, yeah, yeah, this needs to be sorted as yeah. well." Or if it breaks down and you go to get it fixed at Hoity J Mechanics, and then you realise they don't actually exist. Then they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, bloody top quality work. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Welcome back, your uh, massive backbones. God, I love a Friday, Mogi. How good's a Friday, man? Yeah. It's just got a different <coughs> vibe about it, man. Yeah, very much so. Just everyone's feeling relaxed. Everyone's having a few cold beersies or whatever. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Pretty bloody good, right? Hey, um, I was just having a little think today, Jace, as I was going through me drawers at home. Um, I've got, so I don't know if you guys have got this, but I've got a drawer full of old sort of tech Garbage like old phones, yes, cables, I do. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. cables, yeah. Yeah. cables are things you'll crap. never need until you throw them out, and then yes. you'll immediately need them. Um, and I came across one of our old phones, man. All right, um, yeah, 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 that we we made, and God, it must be early two thousands, around about now. Smartphone, we called it. Didn't we? Yeah. Sorry, um, wait. A phone that you shared. You said you made it. No, we invent. We made it because what we were looking at was sort of. It was around about the time Apple kicked off. Whenever, whenever that was. Not sure. Around about then. They've been going for a while, haven't they? Yeah. Eighties, seventies. Yeah. 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 Um, for a while. And we just sort of thought, God, because the prices when they first came out about a thousand bucks. I was like, you're dreaming. We can make. We thought we can make something like that. Um, for half the price. Easy. Easy. Wow. Um, and so we started a, a, a little tech company, didn't we? Just started working out of um, your old man's garage, as it was. Yeah, it was, actually. Because um, yeah, yeah. he had a few spare nuts and bolts in that. And we thought, so oh, that'd be bloody. It. Well, Jason had spent a lot of his childhood counting nuts and bolts at his dad's oh, work for right. high school yeah, yeah. holidays. And I just so left I thought that'll come in and, handy. You know, and had done, and done woodwork in the seventh form as right. part of my bursary. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'd done um, I'd done a couple of terms of uh, computer stuff at school. Like IT. T- nah, touch typing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. Shorthand, that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so we thought, well, I mean, we've got such complementary skills here. I right. would be mad if we didn't start a tech company. Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as you well. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so we did. And I thought I thought there was some real strengths to that phone. Um, we had a one of the the main thing that people liked back in the day, wasn't it? Was you go and um, take a dump and play video games. Yes. Um, so that one of the popular ones around that time was Snake. So we made one called Worm. So it was the same. It was I just, a, Snake. Li- yeah, it was okay. just a little bit different. So it was like Worm. Did it uh, eat all the like little fruits still? Did it follow the fruits around and eat them and get longer? Nah, nah, nah. It was sort of. It didn't really move, did it? We couldn't. It was just sort of on the screen. We couldn't get it to budge. Yeah, just sort of. Sorry. You know that. When you got the twirly whirly on the computer there, buffering. Yes, yeah, buffering. It was yeah. just, it, but the worm basically just chasing its own tail. That, that was what was funny about it. We sort of ended up being, hmm, what's the opposite of famous? Famous is good. What's the bad one? Oh, infamous. Infamous. That's it, Keezy. Yeah, oh, sweet. Because the name of our um, tech company was actually called Buffer. Buffer. Buffer Technology. Buffer Tech. Um, and in the end, because it never worked, yeah, people actually took. The name of our company, and made it a, a word to describe something that so wasn't working. So buffering. buffering. Oh, buffering. Oh, wow. yeah, that came, came from, from from our company. You can Google so we, that, Tiggy. We were actually um, <laughs> something of a laughing stock for a period there, weren't we? Oh, but yeah. but we gave it a we gave it a good college try, man. Mate, so yeah, did you and, distribute and, well, it? You know, and quite frankly, innovators, you got to be prepared to do that. And I'll be I'll be honest with you. Around that time, I was pissed as a chick all the time, so I didn't right. even notice. But that. did you manage to produce any phones at all? Because usually well, we that's... did, we did. We had the prototype, and Jace had actually. This was one of the things, right? That he was put in charge of um, was he was in charge of the screen. Yeah, and um, I sort of get, he had, you'd had a hold of it for about ten days. I thought this is bloody taking forever. Um, so I came and I said, "Look, I need to see it." And he said, I, I said, "How you going, man?" He's been a busy day. It's been a busy, busy day, day yeah. Nogi. But I've done it, and so I thought, "Oh, you bet, that's pretty good." And I looked at it, but what you'd actually done is it wasn't a screen; it was a packet of darts with some tin foil wrapped around it. Right. So it was a bit reflective in that, and it had me fooled for a few weeks. Few weeks. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, uh, you massive backbones. It's actually funny, you know, uh, Mark, because we were talking about the, the company that we started back all those years ago. The, the tech, tech company, The tech yeah. company, and, 
you know, um, it, 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 as stated by you, actually, it didn't all work, but some of it was pioneering stuff in terms of, you know, phones and smartphones and stuff like that. My idea of the, the, the screen there for the phone with yep. the, but my uh, uh, packet of cigarettes covered in tinfoil yep. was actually quite, I guess... Ahead of its time, back well, it, then. It was in the sense that, yeah, it ultimately it did come to fruition, didn't it? It did it end up happening. Yeah, it did. So it was, we inspired other people that it could actually make it. Well, what it inspired in you was that, because you looked at that tinfoil-covered yeah. packet of cigarettes and went, you know what it needs? Yeah. It needs an aerial. Aerial. Yeah, to yeah. receive to, transmission, to, to receive the well, transmission not only to receive it. it to send as well. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah. See, that's See, smart. People don't yeah, think yeah. about well, that. Exactly. The sending. Everyone See, thinks guys, about the receiving, but you, you need know. to yeah have quite long antennae. Because I I got that idea because I was um, I was just sitting there and I'd been smoking a bit of the old ganja. Oh yeah, we'd had a couple of bucky bombs. Well, you were steamed sure. when you made the screen, right? Oh, it, was, yeah. it was all on cockroaches all over the kitchen. You remember that kitchen? Yeah. And I was just looking at this little uh, cockroach there with his antennas going, and I thought, man, that's amazing. Yeah. How sensitive they are, and yet, how, no matter how sensitive they were, you know, those cockroaches never knew when I was going to stomp on them. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that so what we wanted to do is make something that could actually work. Yeah, yeah. Right. That insp- so, th- okay. Interesting. Well, if you think about it, you know, with the cockroach there. No, I'm thinking about it. it, it, they, it they, that's how it senses the no, world. No, I get that part. That's how it but gets then all you the, stomp on it, and, and it's like, so you it doesn't even move. So you want to make an aerial it, that doesn't break when it gets stomped on. No, no, I want to make one that works, because obviously the cockroach ones don't work. Right. Yeah, they got stomped on, oh, you know what I mean? They couldn't sense it. Yeah, yeah. Right. We didn't want the same thing happening with our phone. Yeah, so what did you do? I used a burnt match. Yeah. God, that was good, man. So hang on, you taped it. And I remember when you stuck it into the tin foil. You know what I mean? And I just went, it was just, yes. <laughs> right, and so did the phone at any point, the prototype phone you made, did it actually like receive or send calls or text or anything like that? I was getting, I'd get messages from Jace because obviously we didn't have a big network. That's the other thing. Yeah, true. It's the networks. They they screw you, Keezy, whether you like it or not. Mate, right. But I'd come in and, and I'd have a message on my phone. We had one each. Right. And it'd be a message on my phone. I'd come in and I'd say, um, you want a durry on the screen. Right, and yeah. And Jace had just written on my um, tinfoil screen with a pen. And, mate, into But any time you wanted a new message, you just take the tinfoil off and put a new bit in. Yeah, yeah. Poor paper. Yeah. Right. And the first time we made a call to each other when we were in the uh, kitchen there. You well, know? you were both in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was clear as a clear bell. Clear as you could hear. Oh, mate, he was as I clear could, yeah. as a bell. Yeah. Far out. And so what happened to the tech company? What tech company? <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Ooh, what an hour. Huh. I'm so flushed from my victory on the throb of the air. Yeah. But hey, listen, plenty coming up after 6 o'clock. Of course, uh, the result of the big poll. Will Mogi make it back from Aussie in one piece? Mm. Uh, we'll be getting into that. Also, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue? Oh, my God. Oh, it's man. that time again. Boys. So excited. So Is there going to be a good one tonight, Mogi? Oh, every on? night's a good one, man. Yeah, every yeah. Every night's a good one. Sweet. All that after 6. Stay tuned. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from 4 on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Friday afternoon. But right now it's time for... The Big Poll. Yes, indeed. The Big Poll today. Will Mogi make it back in one piece from Aussie? That's right. So, are you flying out tonight? Uh, yes. Tonight. You're going to Sydney? Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, Sydney. I've got to meet the brother. Uh, tomorrow is the Buckball League. That's right. And then Sunday is the UFC, which I think, I think weirdly, it starts at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Of concern to me... Oh, there's many things to be concerned oh, about. Oh, yeah, there's a few things. Yeah. But mostly of concern to me, wedged in amongst all of that... Yeah. ...is your brother's 50th. My brother's 50th. Um, That's so right. So... I'm getting very keezy, not oh. land the plane. No, I'm getting beyond keezy. Oh, just yeah, yeah. No, just it's, it's... launching into the stratosphere. Let's go, boy! Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think like my brother and I have had conversations, and we've both said, look, let's just, let's just not be silly. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Let's, yeah. just, let's just have a few beers. We've got dinner at a mate's place, or oh, lunch at a mate's place. They're going to put it on for him. Uh, my brother might be getting his back tattoo finished. 
Um, so, and then just keep it early, you know, big weekend. He actually wants to have a big one on Friday, sleep all day Saturday, and then go back to work on Sunday. That's what he wants to Are do. Are you serious? Right. Yeah, That's yeah. what he wants to do. But I just know what's going to happen. Do you know that? It's going to be. Well, yeah, what's the term? Yeah, we, we can, yeah. It has all the vibe for me of me saying to my wife back in the day, it'll just be a quiet one, darling. Uh, well, 100%. You, you know what I mean? about It'll is, be a quiet one and then, you know. I mean, we've had discussions, man. I don't think it's anything to be proud of, but I think we've certainly had our fair share of partying yes. and, and not landing planes and things over the years. I very much I've so. Had a, I've had a very fun life. And my brother puts me well and truly in the shade. Wow. Okay. In terms he, of his, ca- his, his capacity. His capability. Yeah. Which, you know, because let me just say this very frankly, I'm I'm in awe of your capacity. Sure. Um, uh, wait, is you he know, your older I mean, brother? Older by three years. I mean, wow. Woody J had some capacity in his time, Mogi. Yeah. But not maybe even to the extent of Mogi capacity. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you're, bro- if you're saying to me <laughs> that your brother has a bigger capacity... Oh, dearing me, sir. Yeah. Does he have a nickname or does he go by Mogi as well? Uh, well, he does <laughs> not as well. Uh, Alameno, I think, is what his really? nickname was because his name is Adam Minogue. So it sort of sounds Adam like Alameno. Oh, so Jace, can you say Adam Minogue? <laughs> Adam Minogue. <laughs> Hey, yeah, well yeah. done. Nice yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. listen, mate, we need you back. So, yeah, yeah. you know, no, I mean, yeah, well, it's going to be all we'll we'll hang on before we go. Regular, regular updates so that we know you're well, tickety boo. So, obviously, the whole no, point I of mean, this when is. he's gone, Keezy. I know, I get yeah. it. So the whole point of this is to do an update on today's big poll. Oh, we've we'll actually run out of time will here, Casey. If it's anything other than 100%, then I just yeah, don't yeah. see that. I'm not actually interested in the poll. I'm just interested in getting Mogi back. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, cheers. Cheers. We'll be getting back to the tunes very shortly, but right now we need to do something of vital importance, and that's this. What's on the telly? With Mike Minogue. Yeah! 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 Yeah. Woo! Tell you what, man, I've been watching some One Championship. It's uh, it's like UFC, but it's um, it's not. It's kickboxing, and it comes out of Thailand, I think. Oh. But pretty relentless. It's on every Friday night. You can watch it, just stream it on YouTube. So I'm sort of watching a backlog. Right. Um, and bloody fights. It's relentless stuff, man. Is this that the one th- that's like 40 or something years old and Mark Hunt used to do it? That's sort of where he got nah, his start? that one's over in, uh, that's K1. K1, yeah. That's okay. over in uh, Japan. Japan, that's right. Yeah, but there, there's not a lot of D involved, but there's lots of elbowing in the head. Oh, God. They sort of show, once they get on the inside, they sh- throw a lot of elbows. Yes. Uh, there's a lot, you know, yeah, just super fit guys, and also it doesn't. It's just as soon as you clinch, nah, we're not having that. You're fighting, yeah. So yeah. the referees really get in there and just make sure that it's constant action. I'm highly enjoying it actually. So yeah, one championship that's on YouTube. It's free to watch. Smacking, get involved, smacking the bejesus yeah, out of each other. It's nice. I've got to be honest with you on that front, actually, Mogi. And we talked about this a little while back. I was watching one where they were doing the grapple. One of the guys had him around the waist. Dancing. And the guy that was around, you know, that was oh, yeah. held around the waist just dropped his elbow on this guy's neck and back. And he just went, do do yeah. on the floor and started flopping like a, fl- a fish on the wharf. Yeah. And ever since then, I've gone, you know what? Nah. Not I into can't, it. I can't watch that anymore. Yeah, man. So one championship, it's on YouTube. Yeah. It's free, man. Oh, right. And it's all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's some pretty good stuff. In there. Um, because you know, I love I love a bit of boxing and all that sort of carry on. But yeah, just that. Just what about an elbow of, in the head? Yeah, or or a heel to the face, or the you know the temple. Yeah, that's another one that gets me. It's like, well, there's a dude. What did you watch, Keezy? Well, speaking of temples, I watched a documentary last night. Uh, oh God! About the Here Parthenon Temple in Rome. Parthenon. Parthenon. The Parthenon. It's not the Pathanon. No, it's Pathanon. No, it's is it? Yeah. The Pathanon. Yeah. Pathiron. Pathi Pathiron. Well, actually, this was a foreign-made documentary with a, I think it was French, and it had voiceover on it. So maybe they were pronouncing it wrong. Maybe See. it's like that. See. Pathiron. No, because they would have pronounced it Pantheon. That yeah, Pantheon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But long story short, ask, what? Can I just ask, Easy? Just as as a, as a curiosity, more than anything else. Yeah. Do you tend to watch docos when you're hungover? 
No, I watch docos every night when I'm lying on my shark D mat in bed for half an hour before I go to sleep to fix my back. I Do put, you have your shark D mat in you? the bed? I've got fractured vertebrae. Uh, yeah, you put it on your bed and you lie on it naked Ooh. and then you watch something to take your mind off the spikes and a documentary puts makes you sleepy and you learn as well. And then you pull the mat off, throw it on the floor and go straight to sleep. Do you know how you fractured yours? Rugby. Yeah. yeah. I've got three fractured vertebrae. Hey, I'm only two. And Damn I it. don't know what happened. Right. Yeah, yeah. No idea. I've got four. If I had to guess, it would have been oh, piss related. My, yeah, Jace yeah. has got more than us. i got four. Oh, it doesn't surprise yeah, me. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. got to be a reason why he's so uh, decrepit at his just, age. Yeah, just, true, actually. Yeah. Just too much weight on the bar there. And dink, 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 dink. You might have hey. something wrong with your bones. And you've, oh. got to, and you've got to remember, I've got a lack of spinal jelly. So and your oh, shag is back. True, yeah. Yeah, true. Hey, Jace, what did you watch? Actually, no, we don't have time, sorry. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Cheers. Cheers. On the Radio Hodaki Big Show this uh, Friday afternoon. Now, I tell you what, fellas, you're going away overseas for the weekend there, Mogi. Uh, I am. Well, and I know you're fizzing about that. I'll tell you what I'm fizzing about. The Big Show's going to be on the road again next yep. week, mate, making our new Heartland chips. Um, we're also going to be performing a live show, a live show of our radio show, obviously, at the Tap, I believe, uh, Keezy. That's right, the Tap, which is in Tai Tapu near Christchurch. I don't, this... I don't know that I've ever been to Tai Tapu. Tai Tapu's awesome. It's about a oh, seven-minute drive from Lincoln. Oh, yeah. Oh, where okay, all the yeah, students yeah, are down there. Sweet. Uh, it's out in the country there, so we're expecting plenty of backbones to head along uh, Thursday the 14th of September so that's this coming Thursday 4 to 7 we'll be doing a live big show get along there have a few beverages and food and stuff afterwards too I have organised for a live covers band to make it into a bit of a party as oh, well oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a Thursday yeah, night nice. shindig you know what I mean cut a few shapes that sounds like yeah. a great idea and I can always guarantee you actually at all these events we always have stuff to give away don't we oh Mikey? hell yeah well we'll have all T-shirts, sorts of probably have the onesies probably yeah. have the future backbone toddler tees massively and if you also, want to get like just... like a, like a a shot of Mogi, a se- uh, you know, a selfie oh, yeah. of you We've got and a new Mogi. drink called Mogi. Um, I- I'm pretty sure he's going to lower his prices in that regard. What are yeah. you going to charge, mate? 40 50 Oh, 40 50 yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah, yeah, better yeah. than your normal $40, 60 $40.50. 40 50 Yeah, yeah. Depending. D- depending on the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah good yeah. stuff, mate. So if it was me. Hey, and if you want to come up and have a massively wounding conversation about anything you like, you just come and see Hoity J whenever. Totally, man. So good. Tai Tapu, this coming Thursday, September 14th, 4 till 7. Get there early. Get up front. You can't reserve tables and stuff. You have to get there. Yeah. And pack the place out. Yeah, boy. And uh, there will be plenty of Backbone T-shirts on offer. And I've also just been told by producer Pugs that we will have several uh, sort of food and beverage vouchers if you catch my oh, drink. Oh, yeah. so good, mate. Oh, people, yeah. people, yeah. people love those, I find, Mogi. Food F- and beverages. Yeah, food and beverages. Yeah. Good stuff, mate. Yeah, get along. We'd love to see you. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. That's your Big Show week done and dusted. Uh, Mogi, exciting weekend for you, mate. Yeah, exciting man. Exciting weekend. It's, Off you fly. It's bloody exciting. Um, as I've sort of been harping on about, have been overseas for a while. Look at the the weather I'm not so sure about, but right, it's got to okay. be better than here, right? Yeah, well, it's got to sure. be better than here. Yeah. Where are you going again, uh, man? Uh, Sydney, Australia. Oh, yeah, Sydney. that's right. Sydney. So I lived over there for four years, so I'm going to go and catch up with the uh, the mates that I had over there. Uh, it's my brother's 50th birthday. Uh-oh. Um, and going to the UFC on Sunday to see Izzy and, and probably four other uh, city kickboxing fighters. So, yeah, she's going to be a ripper, man, and I'll be back on Tuesday feeling like a million bucks. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Feeling real good. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. shell of a man. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah God. good stuff. Uh, Keezy, what are you up to, mate? Um, deciding whether or not I drive down to Tauranga this weekend. I have to oh. make the decision tonight and maybe go down tomorrow, but go visit the folks, you know. Haven't yeah. seen them in a while, Mon and Don. Yeah. See what they're up to. Oh, they're good, man. Are they? Yeah, yeah. Have you been down? Yeah, I went down last weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, just caught up with them. They're lovely. Oh. They're in good form. Had a hell of a trip. What do you mean? Yeah, to Alaska. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I want yeah. to go down and catch up with them about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they said their first oh, free week. They, I think they're actually going away this weekend. What? So you probably no, want to. You don't want to go all the way down there and they're gone. Well, because I tried to visit them last weekend, but they said this is their first free weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was there and. Oh, you know, right. 
Trees Company, fours a crowd sort of thing. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, it was okay. good. Oh, I'll flag um, it then. I might uh, go what to What are you the, up to, Jase? Or maybe go to the family bats this weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, but probably not. Nah, probably Something not. Something will come up that will stop it from yeah, happening. You know so. what I mean? Yeah, but, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Listen, yeah. it's been a pleasure bringing you the show this week. Hope Most you have a front keys in. Great huh? year. Oh, jeez. Have a great weekend out there. And until Monday, see you later.